Hi, Siba Voda here with a quick tutorial on how to build one of those nifty aqua buttons in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, first things first, we just got to make sure we have a new document open. It's just a new web document. Um, and for our palettes, under window, we need our line palette, our transparency palette, and our gradient palette. You probably already have them open over here, but if not, this is pretty much where they're going to be. Um, so let's select a rounded rectangle tool and just click the center of your artboard. We'll make it 200 pixels by 64 pixels with a corner radius of 20 pixels. And that's all right. And now we gotta actually remove the stroke. So just click right over here, and you can either push the question mark backslash button or just this right here. And we are gonna add a gradient by going to our gradient palette, choosing linear, and we want the gradient to be north to south. So we're going to put 90 degrees right there. And we're going to add some color by just selecting green swatch, dragging it down here, and then a lighter green swatch and dragging it over here. Next step, we're going to draw ourselves another rectangle right on top. So I'd say about yay big. Make it white. And then with our black arrow tool, we're going to select the whole thing and align it, horizontal line center. And then just move this one up just a bit to about there. And now with the white rounded rectangle selected, we'll go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in front. Keyboard shortcuts if you're on a Mac are Command C and then Command F. Control C and Control F for a PC. So now, if we click open our layers, we have two paths, exactly the same. And with the top one selected, we are going to go and add a gradient. But we want this to be black to white. And we also want it to be negative 90 here, so that it goes in the opposite direction. So it looks like that. And now we're going to come down here, select this path, and Command on a Mac or Control on a PC, select this one. So these two paths are selected together. And under our transparency palette and our little menu over here, make opacity mask. And voila, click off, and there you have yourself a quick, nifty little Apple button.